Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I repair flat tires on riding mowers and it's a permanent fix and I'm going to get right into it. So first of all, get yourself a good jack and lift it up. Now on these machines here with the yellow cap or black cap, all you have to do is pull it out with a pair of pliers like this. Now if this piece here is rock solid or rock hard and it won't come off, you can use a heat gun or a hair dryer to soften this up and then it'll pull off easily. So I do have a video showing how to do that and it is in the video description. So next what you'll need is a flat screwdriver and get that pin out or this clip here I mean. And now if your wheel is not seized on the drive axle it will come off easily. There we go. And I always make sure that the key is out of the rim. And here's the key. I'm just going to leave it here just so that it doesn't get lost. So when you take the wheel off, always try to locate the key so that you don't lose it. Okay, I've got the tire on the table here. Some people often ask me if my tire has cracks like this, or even like this, will the tube fix it? Well, the answer to that is 95% of the time it will. Even with cracks like that, it all depends on people's budgets here. I've never had an issue, but you do want to check inside the tire to make sure that there is nothing protruding that would or that could damage the new tube you will put in. To find out what size of tube you will need for your tire, just basically look on the tire. You will find a size. This one is 20 by 8 by 8, so it's an 8 inch rim. And basically, you can get the exact same tube, 20 by 10 by 8. The 10 doesn't really matter. It's probably just slightly bigger, but it will fit in there perfectly. What you don't want to do is go in with a tube that is smaller than the tire because then the tube will expand too much in the tire and may actually puncture itself. So let's get right into it. I've got this cheap machine here that I bought from Princess Auto. If you're watching from the US, Princess Auto stores or basically like your Harbor Freight stores. I think I paid less than $100 for this thing and I've done hundreds of tires on it. And this is how I'm going to show you how to put a tube in this tire today. The first thing I do is grab my pair of pliers like this and pop out the valve stem. If part of the stem is sticking out like that, I just shove it inside and I'll retrieve it later once I have the tire opened up. So you have all these spacers here. So what I do is I put the tire with the valve stem facing down first. Now what I've got in this bottle here is dish soap and water. I'm using Blue Dawn. It doesn't matter what dish soap you use. You're going to see in the video here why I'm doing this. It makes it easier to get the tire off the rim and so forth. So make sure you prepare one of these if you're going to replace your own tires like I am today. So what I do here now is I grab this part from the tool here or the tire changer, pull the pin out, put it in here. Now you can adjust this piece of metal here to go on the bead. I've got it set right here. And basically now all you have to do is push down. It'll break the bead. Then what I do is I spray it with the dish soap here in water. And by the way, it's about uh, one-tenth dish soap and the rest water in this bottle. So even though this is not the side with the valve stem, I did put some soap so that the bead, so that the tire doesn't stick back onto the rim. Now I'm going to remove the tire, flip it over. Just like that. Now this bigger spacer will fit in there. And I usually leave this a bit loose so that the wheel can turn. And again here I'll pop the bead. Now grab this tool here, it comes with the tire changer. This should be straight, it's just a bit bent from years of wear and tear. Now what you want to do is get this inside the tire bead. Now this is how you're going to do it. Get this part right under the bead here and come up like this. 
Here's a close look at it. Now I reach down and grab the rest of the valve stem. There it is. And while you have the tire off like this, you can feel inside for any nails or metal wire protruding that could damage the tube. This one feels good. Now I'm just going to take the wheel off the machine here. I find it makes it easier to get the tube in. Okay, so what I do is I line up the valve stem hole right here. Then I just get the tube right in there. Then I kind of lift up the rim inside to get the tube behind the lip of the rim. Now get the valve stem through. And if you put a lot of tubes and tires, guys, get one of these. It actually screws right at the end of the tube or the stem here. Because if you don't do this, the stem might go right back inside the tire. And I'm going to put the wheel back on. So now I need to use this tool again, but this time I'll be using this end right here. I'm going to spray the tire again. Get it through here. And now what I do is I get that part of the tool right between the tire bead and the rim. And then I'm just going to go in a circular motion. And at the same time, I'll be pushing on the part of the tire that is already inside the rim. And also the reason I sprayed the tire is that it makes it easier for the tool to go around. It's like lubrication. Now what I do is I pull out the stem with the tool here. And what I do is I put vice grips on the stem because you don't want the stem to pop right back in the tire. Now on most of these tires it says do not inflate above 12 psi. So you want to make sure you have a good uh, tire inflator with a gauge. So I'll check my pressure here. And I've got 12 PSI in this tire. And before you remove the vice grips, you want to make sure that the stem will not pop right back in. So sometimes if I feel that the stem will go back in is I put more than 12 PSI to really inflate that tube so the stem doesn't want to go in and then I leave it sit for a couple hours and then deflate it after that. But I know here that the stem will not go back in, so I'm going to pop the vice grips off. And it's all good. Now sometimes when you inflate your tire, you might hear some air coming out between the stem and the rim. That's perfectly normal. Now I might do that until the tube has filled in all the air pockets inside the tire. So you might hear air coming out for a few minutes, then you might have to check your pressure again and put more air. And eventually that will stop and your tire will be nice and hard. Unfortunately, if you hear a lot of air coming out, you keep pumping it and there's still air coming out, you probably have punctured the tube. And now the tire is ready to be put back on the machine. Now I like to put any C's on the drive axles of lawn tractors. They do tend to seize on there if you don't do that. Now it's very important that you don't forget this key because if you don't put it back in, your tractor will not drive.
So now you know how I fix flat tires in my repair shop and it's the same for the front wheels as well. And remember guys, the smaller the tire gets, it seems it's harder to replace the tube in there. So just be patient. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.